What is going on everyone? Chris with Journalist Comics of Pop Culture. It is a beautiful Saturday morning here and I am in the car ready to go check out this collection. Uh, I was in communication with this nice couple that was willing to part with their collection. There's about 450 books. I saw some pictures and they actually gave me a broke down detailed list and I was like, okay, this is one that I really want to get my hands on. I threw them an offer. They accepted. I haven't seen the whole collection, so I'm uh, I'm assuming them to be in, in in a certain condition to where this offer can stand. So uh, fingers crossed. I will see you guys on the flip side. All right, everyone. Collection obtained. We have these three boxes right here. Uh, they even organized them and listed them out, which was really cool. A lot of Spider-Man stuff. Amazing Spider-Man. You can see that it's uh, not bagged and boarded. So nothing uh, near mint here, but decent, decently, you know, kept. So uh, lots of Marvel stuff as well. Let's see, we got some Marvel team-ups. Look at that Daredevil Marvel team-ups. Uh, some what is. Some Dennis the Menace, a little bit of DC. Got some Justice League here. All right, but what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take these home, we're gonna get in the house, and we're gonna look at all the books in detail to see what we got and to see if we got any nice gems out of here. All right, everyone, I am back in my room. I just went through these. My fingers are dirty. There was definitely some dust on some of these being uh, probably just stored in a attic or whatnot, uh, most of them without bags and boards. I pulled a handful out that we're going to look at. Uh, I'm, I'm bunched up over here with not much room. I pulled some out, put some in bags. Uh, again, just to kind of briefly show what we got. A lot of, a lot of Daredevils, mostly Bronze Age stuff here. Mostly Bronze Age stuff. So I think that's, you know, when the owner was a kid. Uh, a few Silver Age here and there. But like I said, mostly Bronze Age. These are all uh, Marvel team-ups. A huge run of Marvel team-up stuff, uh, which is really cool. Very little DC. Uh, some stuff like this, like some old gold key stuff. That was really beat up. Very few DC, but there was some Bronze Age, Justice League. And, you know, not, not the best condition. But uh, nothing, nothing too crazy there. These are really beat up. Really, really beat up. As you can see, there's tape on them and whatnot. Uh, a nice, solid run of Avengers. And again, decent. And the interesting thing about this is, you know, a lot of these start like at the 20 cent or 25 cent. As they get, you know, uh, newer, you get into the 30 cent and the 35, they start to be in a bit better condition. So probably the owner, as they got older, they started keeping better care of the comics. Um, but of course, like I said, most of them still not bagged and boarded. But... Uh, again, like a lot, I'm going to, I'm going to have a field day with the press because a lot of these, you know, a little bit of a spine roll, some, some crinkling up at the corners and edges that can definitely benefit from a press. Uh, so yeah, lots of Avengers. There's a classic right there. Um, some of these still have a little bit of dust on them, but, uh, what else we got? A huge run of Marvel tales which is really cool if you're a Spidey fan. Of course, Marvel Tales reprinted all of the amazing Spider-Man books. Um, and again, these are in really nice condition. Uh, it's huge, huge stat going all the way. They got some older ones back here too. Uh, let's see. Did I already pass them up? <laughs> I think I already passed them up. Some 30 cents, 25 centers. Here, here we go. Marvel Tales number seven. That's a bit beat up, but still really, really cool. Down here, what we have left in here, uh, some Star Trek. So again, some random gold key stuff. A few Disney and Flintstones. And then here uh, we have, oh, this was really cool. This was really cool. Amazing Spider-Man uh, book. That reprinted, volume three, it reprinted some of the classic classic issues so that's really cool um some 20 cent uh amazing spider-mans a 
Again, not the best condition, but early appearance of Harry Osborne as, as Green Goblin. I think that's his second appearance there. Um, but yeah, this this one's really beat up. This is covers coming off. Uh, that was very rare, though. Very rare where you see a cover coming off. That was the wedding of Ned Leeds and Betty Brandt. Uh, but all of these are solid. Solid condition. Early appearance of uh, Hammerhead. First appearance, I believe, of the uh, Spidey uh, car, whatever they called it. First appearance of Willow the, the Wisp. So, again, just a nice run of amazing Spider-Man stuff here. All the way up into the 200s. Got issue 200 here. Yep, issue 200. So, and that's, this is all. Spidey, guess where it stopped? It stopped at 251. I'm like, one more. There was no 252. <laughs> A few little Fantastic Fours and, um, uh, a couple Hulks, and yeah, no, no, no Hulk 181. <laughs> but, like I said, I, I pulled some, uh, I pulled a stack here, and we're going to flip the camera around, and we are going to take a look at these. All right, everyone, uh, I got to be very delicate with these, because again, they're not in bags and boards. I got, I'm, I'm a mess. There was, they had some of this in the boxes, just to hold the books up. So, we're going to look at these one at a time here, and uh, just go through. The books that just going through them, I noticed, I thought, uh, these are definitely books that I'd like to show off. So, uh, we got some Marvel Tales here. I don't know if you guys saw this when I was showing the stack. You're like, oh, Amazing Spider-Man uh, 121. Unfortunately, no, it is just the Marvel Tales reprint of Amazing Spider-Man 121, issue Marvel Tales 98. Still really cool. Of course, it has the original cover art. Um, and again, decent shape. A decent mid-grade. It's it's got some wear. It could still benefit from a press for sure. Uh, where should we, I'm gonna put that right there. Uh, next up, we got uh, issue 99, reprinting uh, the death of Green Goblin. Again, in a nice looking condition. Uh, again, can benefit from a press. Marvel Tales 137. This was the first reprinting of Amazing Fantasy 15. This one's in really nice condition. Really nice. All right, what do we got? This one I was happy to find in there. And this one's definitely gaining some value. It's got some color loss up here. Marvel Tales 106, the first reprinting of ASM 129, first appearance of the Punisher. Original art, but yet instead of the yellow, it's the red. So, uh, it's, you know, you guys can see it's got some discoloring here. Uh, and just, I, I will be putting some of these up for, for sale, folks. I'm going to do a good job cleaning and pressing ones that I, I do put up for sale. Just hoping to recoup a little bit of my money. But for, for the most part, with, with a lot of this stuff, um, you know, I am a collector of runs. I am putting books in my runs that I was missing and definitely taking advantage of, of finding some, some solid books that I can keep in the collection long term very happy to find this i did own a copy uh this book is absolutely hot right now avengers 232 first parents of firefox really solid condition again can benefit from a press some just crinkles that uh, can be pressed out a little bit of a spine roll that can be pressed out um no real spine ticks on it and uh you know decently sharp corners so it's going to be a decently higher grade, obviously not near mint once it comes out of the press. This was a nice one, and one that's definitely uh, been hot since she's uh, appeared and debuted in the MCU. Avengers 227, second appearance of Monica Rambeau, and uh, the appearance where she joins the Avengers, I do believe. Again, decent condition. This has been a, a nice one. I talked about this one not too long ago. It's a nice little spec book. Uh, what issue number is this? 221. This is where uh, She-Hulk joins the Avengers. Again, solid condition. All right, I was very, very happy to find these next couple of books. 
Uh, I, I actually do have this book. Uh, and then again, I mean, just solid, solid condition. Avengers 195, first appearance of Taskmaster in cameo, obviously. Uh, you see him show up, trying to get to the last page. There he is. Boom. Tasky. Uh, a nice condition. No, no spine wear. Decently white. Really nice. So anything I do put up for sale, I am going to be cleaning, pressing, and obviously grading. Oh, this next book, guys, I do not own. Well, I do now, but I didn't own before, and this is staying in my collection forever. Uh, a book that I don't know, I thought escaped me. I just, the, the price, it, what, it, what it's been going for. Uh, but I was grateful enough to find it in this collection. Avengers 196, first full appearance of Taskmaster in a, be again, beautiful condition, beautiful green. I mean, as is, I mean, you got a few little spine ticks that don't color break. As is, I'd give this book, oh, it's got some, I don't know if you guys can see what's going on up there, but just some creases that could still possibly get pressed out. I'd give this book a 7.5 as is, but I could press it up. I think I could press it up at least to an 8.0, maybe even an 8.5, maybe. But very happy to finally have this in my collection. Super hyped. Uh, some more books that have been, been hot because of the MCU. Avengers 185. This, I do believe, is the um, origin of the twins here. And, of course, that leads in. To the first appearance of uh, Kathan. So, man, actually. Because we have this and then we have 187. So, forgive me if I forget off the top of my head. But I, 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 I think they call this one a cameo. But this is where Kathan, or, or is this the full appearance? But, and, then, and then this is just where Kathan possesses. Scarlet Witch. So I I forget off the top of my head the exact details. Maybe you guys can leave it in the comments. I'll be looking it up later to rejog my memory. Uh, this is another one. 181s, guys. 181s are always hot books. Avengers 181, first appearance of Scott Lang. I did not own. So very happy that this is going to be in my collection now. For good. Uh, we got Avengers 194. This one's definitely more beat up. I think I own this one already. 194, first appearance of uh, Betsy Walker is Hellcat. Um, it's got a little rip. It's got about a half inch rip right there. Bent over corners. It could be pressed and, and there's a lot of finger crinkles that can get pressed out. But uh, you see that corner right there. Uh, definitely a lower mid grade. But uh, if I already had this... Maybe I'll put it up for sale. If, if not, then it's in my collection. Um, I think I just picked this book up. Maybe. Uh, a few of the Silver Age books that were uh, in the collection. Let me actually take it out of this nasty old polyethylene bag. And uh, this is Avengers 42. Really nice looking copy. Maybe I didn't pick this up. Maybe I picked up issue... 40 or 41 so i don't think i have this one really really nice looking considering it looks like it has a bit of a subscription fold that doesn't really break color all the way down but yeah you could you could see it starting down in there very happy about that one these were really cool probably not much value at all but some some early 50s books some golden age top comics with uh porky and then sylvester and tweety so, just, I, I love these books for the nostalgia reasons. This one has a sticker on it right there. Those are awesome to have. All right, then we got another uh, Silver Age. I'm going to take it out of, the, again, this nasty polyethylene. Again, nice condition. For these, ooh, this has got like white pages. Iron Man, number four, number four. And look at this. I'd say off-white to white pages in there. Those are really nice pages. 
Look at that. Iron Man number four. This is my earliest Iron Man that I own now. That is awesome. All right, another nice, nice find. And again, a solid higher grade, and I'm going to press it up. Amazing Spider-Man 239. It's got a little, is that a color rub going on right there? Uh, second appearance of Hobgoblin, for those that didn't know. I'm definitely going to give this a press, and I'll pick out which one is um, in better condition, because I already own one. And I'll be keeping one, and I'll, I'll probably sell the other one. And uh, next up, what do you guys think it's going to be? What do you think it's going to be? <sighs> Amazing Spider-Man 238. First appearance of Hobgoblin. Really nice condition. New stand, but again, it's, uh, you know, early 80s. Uh, new stands were still the majority of the market. But very nice condition. Again, can definitely benefit from a press. As of right now, I probably grade this book an 8.0. But it might be able to press up to, I mean, the corners aren't super sharp. I don't know. I think this can press up to at least a 9.0. At least. No tattoos. But I definitely think this can press up to a 9.0. So, again, I already own this one. Mine doesn't have tattoos either. I don't know what grade mine is. This might be a better condition than mine. We shall see. All right. More amazing Spider-Man. Uh, first appearance of Hydro Man, number 212. I already own all of these ASM books. Uh, this is a good one. I have a CGC 9.0 in this. This one definitely isn't a 9.0. Again, it could benefit from, well, I don't know. Once I give it a press, I don't know. Maybe close to it. Maybe an 8.5. 210, first appearance of Madam Web. Another book that has been decently hot. Might see uh, Madam Web in the Sony slash M Sonyverse slash MCU. I was surprised when I found this one. I didn't realize this was going to be in there, even though I had a list. They broke down a list of what books were there. And when I was sorting through it right now, I was like, oh my goodness. Amazing Spider-Man 194, first appearance of Black Hat. This is definitely better than my copy. My copy I've had since I was a kid. I don't know if I want to part with either of them. But uh, I, I, I might want to send this out to get graded. This one is definitely staying in my collection. Don't know what I'm going to do with my other one. Very happy for, for this book. This book has been hot right now too. Um, Again, decent grade. It's got some more rounding of the edges along the spine. I would say with the press, maybe this would be a 7.0. But just because of the rounding and the dings on the corners. Yeah, I don't I don't know if it would get higher than a 7.0. Even though I think after a press, it's it, it'll present really well. It does have some discoloring a little bit right here too. I don't know if you guys can see that. But again, I think the book that I have right now might be like a 3.5. There's a lot of color fade on mine, so... It's definitely an upgrade. All right, this one's a little beat up. This is more of a definitely a lower mid grade, maybe like a 4.0. Uh, this is the first, ooh, well, actually, probably maybe even less than that. It's got a rip right there. Yeah, with that rip, this might be a, a 3.0. Definitely lower grade. Uh, for, uh, 161, first cameo of Jigsaw. Maybe I'll put that up for sale for a decent little price because of the grade. Uh, and then um, two, six, uh, 162, the first full appearance of Jigsaw. This one's in much better condition. Benefit from a press. Maybe about a maybe about a 5.0 right now. Can definitely bump that up a little bit with the press, I think. All right, this is a good one. Pull this out of the poly bag. This is the first appearance of Amazing Spider-Man 149. First appearance of the Parker clone. AKA Ben Riley. Uh, but we didn't know they were Ben Riley at that time. Uh, a lot of folded over corners right here. So, a bit of a lower grade on this. Definitely some pressable defects on this one, too. Um, this book, I had this on, on a, on a uh, books to invest in video maybe about a year ago. 
And this one is, again, definitely kind of beat up. Uh, but this is Amazing Spider-Man 141. This is the first time Morbius teams up with the Sinister Six, which might be happening in the MCU. So that's why there's a little bit of spec around here. It's got a subscription fold in. It's beat up. I have a copy, but some kid drew their a face, happy face on <laughs> Mephisto's uh, Mephisto. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Mysterio. Jeez, brain fart. Mysterio's helmet. God. All right, this was a good one. Definitely, again, pretty beat up. So as we're getting older and older in books here, you guys could see that the conditions are getting a little more beat up. 136, first appearance of Harry Osborn as a Green Goblin. This is going to need a clean and a press. I'll probably put this one up for sale. All right. Uh, this one I have in a 9.0 CGC. Uh, very happy to find another one. I'll be selling this one after a clean and a press. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 135, the second appearance of Punisher. Second full appearance. Because he does show up in a cameo on 134. Uh, some color loss right here. Definitely beat up, but pressable defects as well. I would say right now. Maybe a, maybe a 3.0. I'd, I'd give it a 3.0. Probably even with the press, even though it'll take out some crinkles. I'd say this is still probably a solid 3.0, but we'll see. So, put that one up for sale. And, oh, look, two of them. Another 135. This one is definitely in better condition. Uh, I would say this one's probably a 4.0. It's got a little stain back here, too. But, again, I'll press that one up. Maybe I'll put both of those up for sale. All right, guys, this was probably the book of the lot. This one and the 194. And the Taskmaster, of course. But ironically, I recently just picked this book up from A1 Comics. Some of you might already know what it is. Um, this one's in better condition. You ready for it? Amazing Spider-Man 101, First Appearance of Morbius. This was the bread and butter of this lot. Um, it's got nice off-white to white pages, presents amazingly well. Um, it's got a date stamp on the back up there at the top. Um, the one I got was probably about a 3.0. This does have a little kind of like a rip thing going on right there. I just saw that. Let me, let me, let, let me look at that. Cause outside of that, ah, uh, it does kind of rip through. I can see light. Yep, you guys can see that. Damn, that kind of takes it down. So, man, without that, I was thinking with the press, maybe a 5.0. But with that, maybe even a 5.5. With that, I don't think I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say 4.5. It's still a very beautiful looking book. It's got a little bit of a rip right here too, like a millimeter. 4.0, 4.5, definitely better than the one I own. To sell that one or to not sell that one, that is the question. Hmm. All right, folks, this next one is definitely another big book that um, I have not had in my collection until now. It's staying in my collection. I thought this one I was priced out of, but... Um, I'm very happy to have it. I am a collector of runs. This is my grail run. This one is in really nice condition. Amazing Spider-Man number 100. This book is at least a 6.5 as is. At least. Decently white pages. Off white to white. Man. Yeah, those are... A lot of the pages in these books are really nice, so... Really nice looking book here. Finally happy to have this. A lot of dust, some dust coming off them because I'm getting ready to sneeze here. All right, this book is kind of stuck in this. How do we get this out of here? It's got this cardboard behind it. A Silver Age goodie. Again, like I said, not too many Silver Age books. This one could definitely benefit from a press. 
that's fully on the staples. It makes Spider-Man 72. Love that cover. Love that cover. All right, folks, we're getting there. We are getting there. Next up, another one in a nasty uh, polyethylene bag. We have uh, Spectacular Spider-Man number one. I already had this one, so I might be putting this one up for sale as well. Again, decent grade that could benefit from a press. It's going to take me some time to press all these up. This is a really cool one. Uh, King Size Daredevil number one. I don't think there's I don't think there's any real significance to this. But it's just cool to have. And this was awesome to find. Really awesome. Let's pull this out of the bag and look at the condition of this book. It's definitely gonna benefit from a press, but it's definitely been handled. It's got a huge rip through the cover in the first page there. But still, oh, and it's missing a piece of the cover. You see that right in there. Daredevil number two, though. Very happy to have in my collection, regardless of the condition. All right, what's next? Another Daredevil. Again, pretty beat up. Not as bad as number two, though. This is issue number 20. And we got more Daredevil. 181. Okay, I'm telling you, issue 181 is Death of Electra. Press this bad boy up. I just gave one of those away, actually, in one of my... Was it a Patreon contest, I think? All right, here's 190. I do believe this is the resurrection of, or the rebirth of Electra. All right, what else we got? Oh, this was a good one. This was a good one, too. Good one. Decent condition. A little bit of dust on it. That's going to get cleaned up. We got Marvel Team of 65. First U.S. appearance of Captain Britain. Another one that I did not have in my collection that will be staying in my collection. Very, very happy to own this. This is probably, as is, probably a... 5.5. I don't know how much a press would do to it. All right, another Marvel team up. Here's 95 for appearance of Mockingbird. Solid. All right, then we got some cool. This was a cool one. Um, what if Electra had lived? What if number 35? Uh, we got a reprint. Star Wars number one. Gonna press this one up. Probably put this one up for sale. Since I already own it. I still don't have the first printing. Dang it. And uh, let's see what else we got here. Got has some cool uh, Ghost Riders as well. Just pulled those out. And those are in really decent condition. Uh, we got a Moon Knight in there. Whoa. <laughs> Whew. Who's uh, who's excited for the, from that Moon Knight teaser? All right. We did have... A couple of, look, we had a, a 20 cent Justice Leaguer. Was that Justice League number 109? I don't know what that's, I don't know if there's any significance there, uh, but we did have a significant one. Uh, Justice League 141, first appearance of the Manhunters. So that's solid, and again, in decent condition. So, whoo, man, folks, I am I am excited. Let me show you guys one thing real quick here. This is why you don't use polys, okay? Uh, ethylene, that is. You see how yellow those are? That yellowing will stain your books. You keep your books in polyethylenes for a long time and they start yellowing. That yellow will stay on your books. That's the collection, folks. Um, almost 500 books and a handful of, of solid books that I pulled out there. I got a lot of work to do on the pressing machine. Like I said, I will be putting a few of these up for sale. Uh, let me know what you all thought from the haul in the pickup today. Uh, I'm extremely ecstatic. It's crazy because I've been spending so much time trying to clean this room and get it ready for a room tour video, trying to organize and put books away. And then I go and do this and now I have so much more work uh, for myself. Oh, oh man, but uh, I'm excited. I'm very excited. I want to give a thank you to uh, the couple. They were an older couple. Obviously, um, you know, uh, the, the husband, this was his collection when he was a kid. So, um, you know, I, I appreciated the deal that we were able to work out. 
It's allowing me to fill a lot of holes in my own collection, to have some keys that I needed in my collection, and to, you know, press and clean and sell some of these books up to get a little bit of my money back as well. But um, really nice people. Uh, I, I appreciate the nostalgia around the fact that these were uh, somebody's books since they were a kid. And for him to, you know, be willing to part with them and to, uh, part with them and send them my way is truly humbling. I always try to look at uh, things like this from, from that perspective. So let me know what you guys thought of the collection and of the books I showed off in the comments below. And again, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, folks, please, please take some time to do so. Be well. And until next time.